Hi Matt fans, it's been a while and today we're going to be looking at North Arrows in QGIS 3. See what available options we've got, get away from the boring North Arrow on the left to more interesting North Arrows on the right. Before we do that, I'd like to say a big thanks that due to your continued support, we are getting close to monetization on the channel. Now that brings with it some challenges. Uh, I would prefer not to have ads on the videos and interrupting your tutorials. So if you have a look down in the descriptions, you'll see there is a donation button. So you can just hit that link and donate direct via PayPal. Or if you hit the show more, you can come and find me on a new site called minds.com. Uh, the benefit of finding me on minds is that there's no ads and videos will be coming out a week earlier on minds. If you do really like a video, you can make micro payments via cryptocurrency and that will help keep the channel alive. So hopefully we can avoid monetization on YouTube through ads and find other ways to support the channel. But for now, let's get back to the wonderful world of North Arrows. Here we are in QGIS 3 and I have a map open at the moment. Now what we're looking at today obviously is North Arrows. So if I go up to my project and I select new print layout, then we can get into print layout. And this is where we can start adding cartographic elements for our output. We'll be asked for a name. I'm just going to call this print layout North Arrow. Okay, that, and here's our layout screen. So this is what we use in order to make our A4 sheet or larger sheet of what our map is going to look like. And if you're not familiar with print layout, over on the left hand side, we can add a new map. And that's just going to add the map that's currently live in the mapping window behind. What we're focusing on today is North Arrows and the simplest way to add a North Arrow is over on the left hand side. If you hang over this arrow button, it says add a new arrow to the layout. So very simply, if we select that, you can see we've got crosshairs. And if you left click, we can draw a line. Now this line can go anywhere, which is not very useful. We want it to be straight up for a North Arrow. And if you hold down the shift key, it'll start moving at 45 degree angles. So we know that that's straight up. I'm going to click again to finish my line. And then if I right click, there is a North Arrow. Now this is not particularly pretty. It doesn't look great, um, but it is an arrow. I guess that shows us where North is. Now, if you want to select this arrow over on the right hand side in the properties, you can see that we've got all sorts of properties that we can mess around with. So the arrow head width, I'm going to make that larger. So we've got a bigger arrow. We can make the arrow stroke width wider as well. It's uh, looking great. Anyway, we have other options as well. We do actually have a raft of North Arrows that are built into QGIS and they don't come under this line function. Instead, what we've got is adding pictures. So over on the left, if we add a new picture, select that and we've got the crosshairs again, and then you just draw a square for the picture to sit in, drag and drop. And over on the right hand side, we've now got SVG parameters, image rotation, all these options for our picture. And here you'll see search directories. Now, if I drop this down, here we have all the SVGs that come pre-baked in QGIS. Now these are pretty cool and you can see that some of them are North Arrows. Let's have a look. We've got a North Arrow here. That one looks quite good. I prefer this one though. It's got a bit more to it. Let's go for that one. And as soon as you put it in there, you can see it arrives. Very nice. And you can change your fill color. So I can make this a blue arrow if I wanted. Whatever you want to do. So you can mess around with all the settings there. Now, if you don't have these image search paths, I'll show you next where we can locate them. Here we are in my C drive. And if you go down to program files, click on there and go into QGIS 3.2. In the QGIS 3.2 folder, go to apps, 
and then go to QGIS. Right down at the bottom, you will see SVG. Now, if I double click there, up in the address bar, if I copy this, when I go back to QGIS, and we're looking for our SVG search directories, I could add a new directory and just put this up there, enter that, and we could select one of these folders to add them. Now, what you may well find is that on a Windows machine, this particular folder up here is actually blocked in terms of security. And that's to prevent you from monkeying around in the QGIS core files, which is fair enough. So if you do find SVGs online and you want to add an SVG path, like an image search path, we can do that too. Now, earlier on, in order to get that green check mark in for the nice or north arrow, I downloaded an SVG from the internet and you can just type in north arrow.svg and the wonderful world of the internet will bring up loads of different options. So how do I save that to my computer and add it into my search paths? Over here on the left, if I add a new picture, we'll go here. And then in my search directories, we can see there's nothing green in here, unfortunately. So my check mark isn't there yet. And underneath the image search paths, you've got the option to remove paths or add paths. I'm going to go to add. And then we're going to go to where I saved my green check mark. So that was in local disk demo. Uh, it's under north. QGIS and I made a little folder called SVGs and I'm going to select that folder in order to be added to the search path. Now that I've done that, anything green, anything green, well, pow, there it is right at the end. So now I can add in this SVG that I've downloaded and that can be really useful. Um, if you're looking for more North Arrows, there are plenty available on the interwebs. Here's a quick example, and this is from the Noun project. These guys are really great. They do lots of SVG symbols. And I've just searched for North Arrows, and you can see we've got tons and tons of options. So you could find one that you like, download it, save it to your folder, add that to your SVG search paths, and then insert it as an image. So there we go. That is all I can think of to do with North Arrows and SVGs at the moment. If you do have any comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps. Let's get to monetization and then not monetize. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.